What's going on guys? Drones and Dogs here. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Supcur or Supcur. I hope I'm saying it right. Battle Sharks drone. Which is basically the same thing as the visual Battle Sharks. It's just rebranded by this, this other company called Supcur or Supcur or whatever it is. But it's the visual Battle Sharks. The same exact drone, man. But difference is i picked this up from this super subcur company from amazon and it was half the price of the actual visio and they're the same drone same exact box same everything this is the 4k version but the actual visio branded one which is the same exact drone again is about 100 bucks on amazon and this one was only 49.99 so 50 bucks so if you're interested in the visio battle jarks Battle Sharks, excuse me. Make sure you go and check out this version. It's the same exact drone, man. And we're going to see that here today. And we're going to do a quick unboxing of this guy. And then we'll get it out for the flight test. All right. So this unboxing is going to be really quickly. There's not too much that comes with this guy. This guy has position hold, which is altitude hold, optical flow positioning, okay? Dual cameras. It has two different cameras. It has a 4K camera, which is 4K photo, 2K video. And then it has it underneath it has a 720p camera on the belly of this guy which is an optical flow camera and you also can switch and view the camera underneath it has headless mode one key or one click return they call it hd camera experience image tracking so it has a little like a little optical flow the version of the image tracking okay which you have to be using just the app and we'll do a follow-up review this review is just going to be the maiden flight with the transmitter all right Image sensing tracking, which means it could follow your hand. You like wave your hand in front of it, it'll follow it. All right. USB charging, automatic beauty. I don't know what that means. Mobile phone control, long battery life. It's supposed to have a 20 minute flight time. 3D flips, gesture photos, and then gesture recording. All right. So this is the Sup Curve Battle Sharks, aka Visio Battle Sharks. All right. Same exact drone. All right. Okay, 4K version, bang, bang, 4K version, bang, bang, you know what I'm saying? So really quickly, man, I'm going to get everything out of the box, man, and then we'll get out for a maiden flight with this guy. All right, guys, so I have everything out of the box, so I'm going to really quickly show you everything that comes in the box, and I'll get this battery charged up, and we'll go for a quick flight test with this Battle Sharks 4K version, all right? So... Really quickly, here's the transmitter, and they give you this really nice little quick start guide that tells you how to calibrate it and everything, how to sync it to the drone. So that's really nice. Here's the transmitter itself, and it's pretty much labeled. Everything is labeled. You got your takeoff and land button, emergency stop, your trim buttons right here, headless mode, one key return. These buttons are dummy buttons. They don't do anything. Power button, pitch and roll stick, throttle stick, altitude hold, okay? You got your speed button right here, flip button right here. Then you got your FPV mount built in. Transmitter feels really nice. This traditional Visio, instead of saying Visio right here, it says Subcur or Supcur. I hope I'm saying that name right. But it's a nice little transmitter, man. Xbox game style. If you play games, you should fit right in really nice with this drone, all right? Okay. They give you four extra props. Phillips screwdriver, charger for your battery, and it's just a USB to micro USB and has a light in there that will be on and the light will turn off when the battery is fully charged, okay? Prop guards, instruction manual, and it's pretty well detailed. Goes over how to fold out the arms and refold it. Goes over the transmitter and all its buttons. Shows you how many batteries you need. You need three AA batteries. Goes over the, how to charge the battery of this guy. You know. So pretty nice, man. Pretty nice, well detailed instruction manual. Shows you how to calibrate the gyros. Very nice. Like I said, this is the half the price of the actual visual Battle Sharks, and you can actually see it's the same exact drone. Here's the drone, man. So it folds out. There's no clicking or nothing. You just fold it all the way out, man. And it's a nice design. Looks like a little toy great style Mavic, man. All right, look at that. 
Look at that. Actually, a nice drone, man. Look at that. Okay. Here's the front now. Here's that 4K camera up front. Bam. Nice little wide angle lens on it. Looking nice. Has a bright LED that lights up right here. It's a clear LED that lights up right here. Has LEDs on each motor in the front and in the rear. Okay. Look at that. Here's our battery underneath. You just click this or you just pull, push this in. And the battery pulls out. Okay. There's our charger where you stick your little charger end in or it's a micro USB. Here's our battery. 1800 milliamp hour battery. Yep. 1800 milliamp hour battery. And it's actually a 3.8 volt. That's what it says. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it says. So they're boasting 20 minutes of flight time out of this guy. Here's our optical flow sensor underneath. On and off switch. Camera, you can adjust the pitch a little bit. Not too much, but you can adjust it a little bit. Okay. But you don't need to adjust it all the way down because you have this underneath that you can switch to. All right. Go ahead and put that battery back in there. So, yeah, man, really nice foldable design, man. I really like it. Feels really good. And that's pretty much everything, man. So, we're going to get this Battle Shark. Bam, 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 bam. Charged up and ready to go, man. And I'll see you guys outside for the flight review. All right. All right, guys. So, we're out for the quick flight review of this Battle Sharks 4K version. Bing, bang. All right, man. So this is not going to be a full flight time test review because I didn't fully charge the battery. I only let it charge about an hour and a half. I wanted to get out here before the, the sun set it. I was losing my daylight. So I will come back and do a follow up review and do a full flight time test and see how close does it get to that 20 minutes that they're claiming. All right. All right. But for right now, man, we're just going to be checking out flyability this little 4k camera which is actually 4k photo 2k video and of course every time i get out to fly the wind like to start to pick up man so we're dealing with probably about an eight mile per hour wind speed here today hopefully with this optical flow underneath we should be able to handle it now it looks like it has a micro sd card slot underneath it's empty this is the wi-fi version so it does not have a, a, a built-in sd card reader okay or a built-in dvr excuse me so Everything is recorded directly to your phone, all right? So, without further ado, man, this is the Battle Sharks 4K version, man. We're going to get into it. Bang, 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 bang. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your boy Drones and Dogs. Look like we got some green LEDs in the front, red in the back. Nice, a nice clear LED on the nose. Nice, nice. I got my uh, camera, horizon view. Let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Up, down, binds it. Both sticks down and out, calibrate the gyros, the LEDs flash. All right, let's go ahead and get into the, but well first, before we get into the app, let's go ahead and, went kind of die down just a little bit. Before we get into the app, we gotta go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi of this guy. So let's connect to the Wi-Fi, and it's gonna be like M84K, there it is, M84K. So let's go ahead and connect to that. So then the app for this guy is the XS Visual app, all right? So let me get out of that. Okay, here's the X, and you can also calibrate it from the app too. You can also get into your settings and change some things up, all right? So everything seems to be all right. Okay, let's go ahead and click start on this app. We should have FPV feed. Yes, we do. Bang. So let's go ahead and start the recording. So I have the recording started. Let's go ahead and take off and into our first rate with this wind. This is our first, I'm giving it pitch and already the wind is taking it. I had to click up to my second rate just to get it back over here. So now I'm in the second rate. The first rate wasn't giving me any pitch, but I'm letting go on the sticks to see if the optical flow is gonna kick in at all. Let's see what the optical flow does and it has. I'm not touching anything. Nice. So what the optical flow does on these little toy grade quads, it acts like a little cheap GPS. So you got, so far you can go up before the optical flow actually is ineffective anymore. All right. 
But yeah, look at that. Pretty nice, man. Camera looks good. Wi-Fi feed looks good. We're in the second rate. Optical flow is holding. That's a nice looking bird, ain't it? That's a nice looking bird. That's a nice looking bird. Look that. That's a nice looking bird. Yes, sir. Battle sharks, man. All right, we're in a second rate, man. Let's see what it does with this little wind kicking up. This is full four flight. Bring it on back. This is full four flight coming this way, coming at me. Second rate. All right. So it's not a fast one at all. I'm giving it full pitch going this way. Look at that. Not too speedy at all. It's a beautiful day out here, even though it's kind of windy. So let's check out the yaw rate in the second rate. There's our full yaw rate in the second rate. Okay. Three beats, this is our highest rate. Full pitch in the high rate. Full four flight in the high rate. Coming back this way in the high rate. Full four flight, full on the sticks. So it's not a fast one, guys. So this is pr primarily a camera, a camera bird. And that camera looks pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie, it looks pretty nice. Wi-Fi speed looks pretty good. Bring it over here. Let's check out the yaw rate. So there's our yaw rate and the high rate. Okay. Flips. Nice tight flips on it. Nice. 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 Let me bring it over here. I want to stop the recording really quickly. I'm going to let the optical flow kick in. Let it kick in, all right, and then I'm gonna take some photos. So I have taken a photo and it takes a little bit for it to actually capture, all right. Took a photo there. Taking another photo. Now also inside the app, it's also supposed to have like these, like gesture control and all that good stuff and follow me. I'm not sure you can do it with, with the, um, two meters to confirm. I'm not sure you could do it. Let's see. If they're gonna follow me. See, no, it's not follow. It's not following me at all. So maybe I think you have to just be controlling it just using your phone. So maybe we'll do that on a follow-up flight, just flying with the app. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that here today. I just really wanted to get out and do a maiden flight with it and see how it performed. And I'm really not too big on the phone flying. And it's kind of windy out here today to be trying all that. So this is basically a performance flight and testing out the camera. Let's bring it on here for some camera love. That guy looks really nice, man. 
Battle shark. Bang, bang, battle shark. Bang, bang, battle shark. Bang, bang, battle shark. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just try to take it up really nice and slow and get get some decent footage with it. See, see if I can get some decent footage. Look at that, that wind is starting to It like this wants to go haywire. Let me stop the recorder. Stop the recorder. I'm gonna land it because it's acting totally crazy. <laughs> and recalibrate the gyros. Okay. Let's take back off and see if it behaves a little better. Still has a little tilt to it. Raise it up a little bit more. All right, now it's a little bit better. It was acting really crazy a little second ago. I don't know what the heck it was doing. Start the recording. So I got the recording going. I like it, man. Battle sharks, man. Battle sharks, yo. And the feet on it is pretty decent. Like, I think I can FPV with this a little bit. As long as I don't go too far with it, but I'm not gonna look at the drone. I'm just gonna fly a totally FPV. Look at that. The drone is behind me. I'm gonna fly overhead now. Fly it should be coming over my head now. Oh yeah. Look at that. You can do some FPV with this, yo. Should be coming back over. I'm not even looking at it. Should be going back over me again. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. The Wi-Fi on this is pretty decent. Guys, I'm not looking at the quad at all. I'm getting a little break up now. It did freeze a little bit. I did get a little bit of stutter there. Coming back around. Look at that. Coming back over me. I'm going to go around the shed if I can. Let's go around the shed. Look at that. I'm going around the shed. I'm not looking at the quad at all, guys. I'm not looking at it. There's me. See, I, I can come from behind myself. Look at that. There's me. Not looking at it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice Wi-Fi feed on this guy. Nice. Let me go ahead and stop that recording. Yeah, so the Wi-Fi feed on this is pretty decent. I, 
I did have a little stutter out there at a at a little moment in time, but other than that, this dude was getting it. There it is, acting out a little funky again. I think that's that optical flow trying to kick in. I think it's hard to kick in on this pavement because it's not recognizing the pavement so well. But this thing is a dope flyer, man. Let's see if I can see if it kicks in and I can take a couple more photos. There it is, it stopped. I'm not touching anything right there. Kicked in. Let's take a photo right there. It is starting to drift just a tad bit. Did you take my photo? There's a still still loading the image. It took a photo. All right. So man, let's just. Fly this guy around for a little bit, man. See how she flies. Now, I told you, I didn't even fully charge this battery and it's still going for a heck of a long time. Like I said, this one is branded by Sucur or Sucur or whatever. Not by visual, visual will Theirs is a hundred bucks. This one was only 50 guys. So y'all get y'all go ahead and give me a like and subscribe for always finding y'all the good deals. Your, your boy broke Jones and Dogs is finding y'all the price breaks. I know how it is, man. I ain't trying to spend a whole bunch of money on all these drones either. So I try to find the good deals. And when I do find the good deals, I try to bring them for you guys and let you guys check them out. There's some more flips with that guy. Flips on the go. Yeah, this is a good one, man. I wish it was a little bit faster. I wish I had a little bit more pitch. But hey, I guess it's just supposed to be primarily a camera bird. But I was surprised at how good the Wi-Fi was. The, the Wi-Fi feed is pretty good with this one, guys. I mean, I'm not seeing no breakups or nothing. It's flying smoothly. Really smooth right now. That is incredible. From 50 bucks. That is amazing. Yeah, not too much more to say, man. How about this guy, man? A nice flyer. See if it kicks in. See how long it takes for that hold to kick in. And there it is. So it takes a few seconds before the the altitude hole kicks in. But there, man, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Getting plenty of time with this guy. Plenty of time with this guy. I'm already happy with the flight time. Even, even even though I didn't fully charge the battery, I'm already completely happy with the flight time of this guy. I've been primarily flying it in high rate the whole time. That's me circling it around myself. Doing my little version of a circle me. I like the LED in the front. Guys, let me know, man. Leave me a comment, man. Let me know what you think. You dropped a little altitude. Getting a little air. Let's get a little air with it. Since it's flying so long, this thing is flying like a dream. Look at that.
Look at that. Do it still have flips? Still flipping, so we still got juice, guys. Look at that. What more can you say? 50 bucks, man. Battle shark. I don't know how long it's gonna stay at that price. Looks like I'm getting some company over there. That guys, she's still going. No more flips. All right, so that battery is getting low. No more flips. Can't flip it anymore. So we must be getting low. We must be getting low on that battery. Still going. No flashing lights yet though. All righty, there's our flashing LEDs, guys. Do you see them? Flashing LEDs right there. You see them? Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and land this guy. We're going to try this 